Hey folks, this is Kane Novak here with another No Man's Sky video. I have found my way past the Hello Games logo. Unfortunately, it's a temporary solution. It should expire within a few days uh, or a week or so after this video is up. The good news is though, if it expires, it will be put into the main game itself so you guys don't have to do this weird workaround. Anyways, let's get into it and then you'll understand a bit more what I'm saying. All right, so this solution is provided by the developers for the AMD, Phenom Fix, and a bunch of others. It's buried somewhere in the discussion board, uh, landing page, whatever. I'm just gonna quickly go over what it supposedly fixes. Improved AMD Phenom support. Alt tab has improved. Shader caching, um, that might be a bit complicated if you don't understand what's going on. Mouse jitter max FPS cap, improved performance, and an issue with Intel GPUs, so, uh, and G-Sync. G-Sync is a setting that uh, was causing some people issues, but the main thing is the AMD Phenom support. Basically, they have some sort of supplemental SSE3 or SSE4 dependency, and they block CPUs that were outside that range. Um, and what they what I did was artificially locked out CPUs that could handle the game, but um, didn't meet their whatever setting, and so they unlocked that. Um, now the thing is, to access this, you have to do a special um, a sort of special install in Steam itself. So here are the instructions to do it, but um, some people might be confused. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually do it. But first of all, since you're here, copy this code. Select it, 3 experimental, uh, control C, that, that's on PC, and open your Steam client and look for No Man's Sky in your game's library. One warning though, you have to uninstall what is already there. So if you downloaded the game, you have to delete local content, boom, there you go. And now basically you have to re-download it um, with the special special settings. All right, right click on properties, open up this window, go to the betas tab, and you'll see whatever you can't see anything there. So what you do is you paste your code that you copied before, control V on a PC, check code. All right, access code correct, private beta experimentals now available. Boom, you select experimental, Close this and now install the game. All right. So unfortunately, you have to wait for it to download. Mine it takes like five minutes, so it's it's pretty good. <laughs> but if you guys have a slower connection, it, it it this really sucks. Once the game is downloaded, try to run it and see if it takes you past your problem and if it takes you into the game itself. Now for me, it went past the Hello Games logo, which I was having issues with, and took me to the universe uh, creation screen, a title screen, and a universe creation screen. But unfortunately, it crashed right there. Um, you can see the stuttering here itself. That's not the, the video, it's the, the game itself stuttering, and that's what the video captured. So anyways, for me, I had to send Hello Games, uh, my dxdie.txt, and a crash file that was in my user app data local temp directory. Now there, there are instructions on the forums to to do this. The dxdie is common enough that you can just Google it, and it'll it'll show you some information. Um, the the location of the dump file itself for and. Uh, no Man's Sky will start with the letters NMS as in November. What's M? <laughs> Monkey. Uh, Sierra. <laughs> I don't know. M must be something else. But, anyways, um, it starts with those three letters and you can find it in a directory. There, there, there's information on it on the forum itself. And unfortunately for me, the, all this testing and all this video capture of all the issues have actually pushed my, my refund game time limit to to a dangerous level so I'm going to be refunding my game pretty soon. I might consider buying this game again at a later date but unfortunately right now is just at a point where 
I can't handle it. I mean, I can play it on my laptop, kind of, but my laptop is not set up to, to actually play games. It's actually a much less powerful computer. I wouldn't say much less powerful. It's just not my main computer. Um, and it that obviously doesn't have all the doodads that I use to record stuff, which is the main purpose of me getting this game, uh, besides having fun. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, there's another workaround that's not official, but it does, um, it's helped some people and it's, it's a bit hacky, but basically what they do is they emulate the, the SSE issues, the instructions, um, through, through some sort of external program and it has allowed some people to play uh, No Man's Sky. Unfortunately, like I said, it's a bit hacky and it's not a really solid solution. Plus, it will lower the amount of processing power available to the game since it has to emulate these instructions. So I, you can find it on the forum, the Steam forum. I don't recommend it, but if you're desperate, go ahead and give it a shot. That's it for this video. Hopefully it helps. Let us know in the comments if it does work for you and if you're able to play or if you have other workarounds to get your game going. Anyways, this is Kanovic signing off and I'll catch you guys later.